different company, Teak Stone. Um, I have two here just to show you. Like they come with re like real onyx lids, and they're like thick, hefty, nice onyx, which is crazy. Or wait, sorry, this is a. Uh, is it onyx or is it? Um, it looks kind of like what's that called? Alabaster. But no, I think this is a, I think this is like a white onyx. Anyway, um, I'm sure it says it right here in the description, but it's not like letting me see the whole thing. Um, anyway, I just feel like okay, stone is super trendy and popular, and I mean also timeless though. And I just feel like stone stuff is gonna be around forever. Um, and real stone in a candle just feels so luxurious. And I'm holding these up to the light right now. Like obviously they're all different because they're real stone. So um, and just know that. Uh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So many things to say, but okay, they're totally translucent, which is really cool. Like I'm holding them up to the light, and light is coming through. They're just beautiful. Like look at all the striations in this one. And in fact, I want to turn the camera. Let me if I double tap. Can I point it this way? Okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. The sun coming through this. It's a real piece of like onyx. So these ones don't come um, in a box though. They just, and then like, they all differ, you know? This one's like, some like light is still coming through, but you know, you're, all, you're gonna get all different ones. But anyway, I mean, this one's particularly uh, like stripey and beautiful. Okay, how do I turn this back around? There we go. <clears throat> all right, so uh, I've been burning this one and this smells like I'm getting like some a little bit of base notes of like jet fuel, um, which is like sultry and sexy, but then it also has like a rosemary soapy thing. The jet fuel might just be because it's been burnt and I'm smelling the burnt wick. But, so the thing I noticed about this, it doesn't smell super, super strongly, you know, in, in solid cold form. But once you get it burning, I've had like, I have like some boy smells candles over there and I had some of these other candles in the kitchen. And then I had this one over there and this is the one that I noticed the most. I was like, oh, this one's actually really powerful. It did a really good job fragrancing um, and it really was powerful. Also, so sad, a small moth flew into it and I found it later and I feel so bad that he got stuck in there. But also like, it's kind of beautiful, but I feel bad that he had, that he died or she, but so sad. Um, anyway, really nice giftable. It doesn't come in a box, so know that, but you could easily put this into like a nice gift bag and then it does come with a sticker, so there's like a half, there's like a semicircle sticker that comes on each of these stone lids, and you have to take the sticker off. The sticker does leave some residue, and it's like sticky, and it's that kind of thing where you have to like get the gunk off. But I just used a little bit of um, Goo Gone, you know, like the Goo Gone solution. It's like a solvent type thing, and it didn't, you know, hurt the stone at all, but it got all of the goo off, and then now it's like brand new and perfect. So you can either gift it with the label on, the label just said like the, what, what the scent is and stuff, but then, you know, whoever you're giving the gift to has to, like, deal with taking off the label themselves. So it's up to you. You know, you could either take it off or not for them. But you have to use a little Gugan if you take it off. Um, but it's a real brass. It's a real brass vessel and real stone. I just feel like for it's $34, that's, like, a crazy good deal for, like, these materials. And I think this is also a really premium wax um, and just makes for such a nice gift, like, really nice gifts. So down from 45 to 34, 42. I think it's because that one's also on sale because that's more than 10, that's more than 15% off the 15% that comes off with all the live stream stuff. Um, okay, so just to sort of go through and recap everything. So the, the at least all the candles. Um, Brooklyn, a little that's like our more perfumey, powdery, but nicely balanced, rich smelling house. Santorini is like like sort of wet and very fig forward. I love this one. 
great for the summer, great for the spring. Maui. Okay, now the washer's done. You hear it? Um, and then, oh no, my stamp from last night. I went out on a Thursday, which is so crazy. It's so not like me. And then we've got Maui, which is like, it smells like a, like a tropical rainforest um, in Hawaii. Super, super wet, super like floral and botanical and fruit and like, just like a lighthearted, fun summer fragrance. And then Santa Fe, which is all the woods, but like a nice clean, clean crisp wood sort of thing. Very Christmas tree, um, great for the holidays. Then we've got Santal, which is just like a little deeper. It's complex. Um, a little smoky and woodsy. Then we've got Hinoki, which is like, this smells more like a boy in like a, like a sexy way. It just has like a, like a sort of like a masculine, like, it like, like kind of clean though, like a little bit like deodorant-ish, um, but it's masculine and sexy. And this one's more like cabin woodsy. And this one's a little bit more like clean guy smell. And this one is like the orange, orange woodsy soap sort of thing. And then, and then this one is more like, this one's more like rosemary and citrus. Yeah, citrusy rosemary. Okay. That is all we have time for you guys, but those are all the candles. Um, I had a really nice time. Um, let's also like 